right guys, well I've been told this is going to be my new office. Apparently me new bosses haven't got anywhere else for the time being. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number one. Number one, I'm so excited because we are finally getting started with the start of the Met Please Save. I've been banging on about it for months and months and months since I first had the idea to do this save and finally the FM editor has got his database out I've been able to get all my side of things working and so we are here at Met Police and we are getting started I've not had a look at anything yet all I've done is I've edited in a load of the real life players that I couldn't find in the database in the editor. So I've, that's about all I've done. I've added in players and not just from the first team. I've done a load of under 23s and a load of under 18s. So I've really gone really quite in depth with adding players in. And also I've added, added in photos. So you know what guys, let's get going. We've got all the usual messages that I'm sure you've all seen a million times. I'm gonna just I'm I'm gonna attend the meeting just because I have to, but let's just rush through this, just because nobody is really any interested in these particular bits, are they? So yeah, I'll meet the journalists, and don't worry about setting on a meeting with Gavin. I'll speak to my staff when I need to. And so yep, tactics induction. Yeah, I'm sure by now you would have seen other videos and would have seen everyone else uh, with their tactics inductions. You might have seen mine on my West Ham save in the beta. And so, yeah, here we are. First little message from Gavin McPherson. He is the manager in real life, but I've demoted him to assistant manager. I was going to fire him. I was going to take him out of the club. But then my other half said, oh, no, he's rather good looking because we went to see Met Police play. Uh, about a month or two ago now, we went to see him play and we were right behind the dugout. And so my other half, she didn't really spend much of time watching the football. She was just watching Gavin most of the game because she finds him quite attractive. So yeah, didn't, didn't have much of a chance to fire him. So that's why he's been kept on as my assistant manager. And so we got all the other bits, the transfer bits. And Met Police, a little bit of history, just in case you guys don't know. Met Police, obviously, they used to be fully formed of uh, Met Police officers playing for them. But that rule got stopped 16 years ago, I believe, just because the policemen just couldn't get time off to play football. So that rule's been relaxed. I don't think any of the players at the minute are policemen. They all have other jobs. But the club is still run by ex-police officers, I believe. If that's wrong, let me know down below. But that's as far as I know. And so, yeah, they've been founded in 1919. And they're currently playing in the Evo Stick Southern Premier South. Which is one league below the Conference North-South. So if I can get us up to there, that would be very beautiful within the first couple of seasons. That's what I'm hoping for. They finished mid-table last year. And it says here the club played their home games at Metropolitan Police Sports Ground. Well, that's wrong. It's called Imber Court. And so that's where they play their games. I am going to make it over there for a game at some point. The game I saw them playing at, that was an away game against Murphy Tidfield. Because I'm in South Wales. Murphy is about an hour or so on the train away from me. So I thought I'd go check them out. And it was a really good day. Really good game it was. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. That's part of the reason why I have decided to do this save. And we've got basic junior coaching and a limited youth recruitment network. And we're affectionately known as the Met. I, I want to change that to the police. I want us to all to be called the police. Because come on, how funny will it be to see up, see up the police chants going on in the comment section down below. So if you're excited for this save, let me know down below by commenting up the police. And so the club enjoyed probably the best spell of, spell of success during the 2010s. Duh, 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 duh. Although now enduring a seven-year barren spell, having not won a competition since 2011. But that is all going to change. Bad jokes is here. I am going to change things. And now let's go and have a look at the team report. 
Can I have a look at this full screen? No, I can. Down below. And so, we've got quite a lot of strengths, quite a lot of weaknesses. And actually, before we go into this, I'm going to take you in through the squad first. And then we'll go through the strengths and the weaknesses. And so, as you can see, we have got how many players in the first team at the minute? We have got 18 in the first team. But there are more in the under-23s and the under-18s. Right, yep, see, all those white ones, most of them, I've had to add in myself. It was a long day Sunday adding all them in. But it's done, and so I'm happy. And so let's go back to the main squad. And so we're going to start off with Luke Williams. I'm just going to go through all these players very, very quickly. If you if you like, yeah, if we, pause the video and then check the players out in more details for yourself. So we've got Luke Williams in goal. We've got Sam Williams, not sure if they're related. Don't think so. If they are, again, down below. And then Thomas Williams. We've got all the Williamses here, haven't we? Is that two Thomas Williams? No, it's not. But yeah, we've got all the Williams. How about that? Because this isn't in alphabetical order. Let me go back to the Met Police squad. And yep, yeah, right, so I'm going to do it this way. Luke Williams, again, second time up. There you go, mate. And then we got Thomas Williams, the other goalkeeper. I very much doubt they're related. But if they are, again, let me know. And again, if there's any errors, if there's anybody who's no, who's no longer at the club, please do let me know. Ryland Myers, Jeremy Arthur. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Jeremy Arthur. Max Blackmore, who is one of the star strikers for the club, I do believe. And down we've got Billy Brown. We've got Ethan Chislett. Ethan Chislett, even. We've got Charlie Collins. George Frith. Gherkin Gockman. I'm just going to go through them all very quickly. Again, feel free to pause and try to look at who you think is going to be decent. Hopefully, we can get some of the Met Police players themselves checking this out. As now, I do believe I've gone through them all. And now, go back to the home screen. Again, yeah, if we can get any of the Met Police players checking this out, that would be quite awesome. And if you do, please let me know down below. It would be very awesome to get some of the players involved themselves. As we've got Alex Kozakis. He's a 20-year-old. And then we've got Mikhail McLaughlin. And Jordi Dezoid. I think that's how you pronounce that one. George Smethurst. And Connor Thompson. And for all these players that I created, just want to say, I didn't do the attributes. I just let the game randomise them. Just because I thought that was the fairest way. Because otherwise, subconsciously, I might just make some of the players too good for this level. And so, we're just going through all the players now. And yet, we're back to Kozakis. And then, let's just check out the under-18s. If there are any players who you want to check out in more detail, let me know in the comments. And the next video, we'll have a real proper look at them. I just want to try and get through everybody quite quickly at the minute. Just so we can get the first video done. And so Luke Harper, WWE fans, that's where he's been the last few months. He's not been on WWE TV. He's been playing for Met Police. Uh, the under-18s apparently. So that's one mystery solved. And so, Rus Murdoch, Aid on Torpy. And I think that's everyone out of all them we've gone through. And so, now you've had a very quick look at the squad. Let's go on to that pros and cons list. And as you can see, there's quite a lot. I'm just going to pick out all the top five, top six. And again, I will go down because the weaknesses... Wow. There's a lot. There's a lot of weaknesses, people. Uh, let's concentrate on the strengths first, yeah, people? The team in general are strong and capable in the tackle. Very nice to see. Very good to see. Then decisions. The squad has a number of impressive decision makers. Max Blackmore is one of six good players up top. So that's very nice. We should be expecting to score a lot of goals. Then we've got Max Blackmore again. He's the star man up top. And then youth prospects, we've got a number of talented youth prospects, including Mikhail McLaughlin, Louis Birch, and Oliver Knight. And then Oliver Robinson is a very good option at centre-back. And Wade's budget, 
we've got a whopping 240 quid still available to be spent. Most of that, I think, will be used on just keeping players at the club for the minute. This first five or six months of the save is going to be just getting used to the team, just getting used to who's good, getting used to who's awful, and then maybe in January, I know there's not a transfer window down this level, or so I believe, but January is still going to be the month where I'm going to ship people out, bring people in as I, as needs be, as depending where we are in the league at that point. And so defence depth is a weakness because we've only got one player who can play right back, one player who can play left back. And so midfield depth, there are currently no players capable of playing on the right wing. Well, that's quite worrying because I was hoping to play somebody out there right on the white. Right on the white. What on earth was that about? Mm. Uh, but then, Johnny Wright is only a low-quality option on the right wing. Okay, so you've told me we've got nobody who can play there, but we've got somebody who can play there badly. Make up your mind. Johnny Wright, again, is a, only a, is a low-quality option on left wing. So maybe wingers might be something to try and pick up in the early days of this save. And overall depth, there's not a great deal of quality outside the first team. We're not the best at crossing, we're not the best at dribbling, we're not the best at everything are we? But I think that's to be expected down at this level. I'd be surprised if most of the pros and cons reports aren't quite similar to this down in this level. And so, what else shall we have a look at? We'll have a look at the finances people, yeah? We'll see what kind of money I've got to play with. Wow. We've only got six and a half grand in the bank. That's quite worrying. And okay. And apparently, despite being told we had 240 odd quid left in the bank for wages, it's now telling me over there we're currently spending one and a half grand, which is almost 450 odd. I think there's four, maybe 500 quid over the wage budget. That could be something to try and sort out. And so we've got no transfer budget and we only get to keep 30% of the transfer reven revenue we have made. And so, wow, I don't think we've got any injuries going forward. No, we haven't. Not at the moment. So that's good to see. And let's have a very quick look at the projection. Wow. Kind of need to get up this year. This is going to be the big, big part of this season. Sort of just levelling out the books while still trying to be competitive and still trying to go up. Loans are going to be a very, very big part of this first series, this first season. So, wow. Okay, so what else? What else shall we have a look at? Let's go through, the, we've gone through the under-23s, we've gone through the under-18s. What else do we have a look at? Training. Now, training. Training induction. Yeah, I've already done training induction. Yeah, I don't want to do this. No, go away. Fine. Uh, I'll plan the general training. Set up individual training for first team players, backroom staff. Basically, I'm going to leave everything but the general training to the staff. And as you can see, being part-time, we only train on a Tuesday and a Thursday and then we've got our first league game of the season. Surely that's not right to be on the 7th of July. But we've got our first league game of the season this week. That's going to be on the next episode. Because I think I am rambling just a little bit. Yeah, we've been going almost 15 minutes, people. And so let's have a look at the fixtures as we have it. And then I'll go through the, I'll go through the dynamics. And then I think that's where I'll leave it for today. So... Metropolitan Police fixtures. No, that, that isn't our first league game of the season. I did think that was a bit weird. So we've got a few friendlies. I might possibly change some of them. Try and get some money in. Try and get some League 1, League 2 teams to come down. Maybe. And then we've got Weymouth first up in the league away. And then we've got another away game two days later as a friendly. Uh, I don't think so, fella. That is going straight away. And so, yeah, we've got Way... Why can't I say my W words today? We've got Weymouth. We've got Hendon. Hartley Whitney. 
and Harrow Borough as our first four games this season in August. No idea who, who any of them are. I've never heard of any of them, if I'm going to be painfully honest. If you are a fan of them, let me know down below. Let me know how you're getting on in real life. Let me know what I should be expecting from you guys. And so, I think I'm going to have a look at their league, actually. going to have a look at see where we're expected to be finishing. So, where's the league table gone? Okay, let's go back to where I was. There we are. And so, media prediction is... Dum, 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 second. Mm. Okay. Was not expecting that. No pressure, people. Okay, so we're evens to go up. So, hopefully we can. But we are going to have to be balancing the books along the way. And so, I think, as Jeremy Clarkson used to say... On that bombshell, we shall leave it there. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. I'm very excited for this series. I hope you guys are too. We're going to go through the tactics and have the first game of the season. The first game of the league season anyway in the next episode. So if you're excited for that, like I say, give it a massive like. Subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on this series. All the news on all my other series. My WWE 2K19. My Pro Evo series. They are still going on. I'm going to be having videos on them out in the next couple of days. And so yeah, I am Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out.